You thought that you're gonna be able to survive two weeks without having any drama in gaming? Guess what? You were wrong! wrong! Now, this is by far the biggest fumble in the year 2024. This is the biggest fumble in the making. Seriously, nobody saw this coming. I think even Nostradamus didn't see this coming, man. Holy crap. I got a bunch of stuff that I want to share with you guys. I don't think you're ready for this one. We got video clips as well, guys. Get ready for the climax. This literally could not have gone any other way. You trained every hell diver to work together to defeat their foes as a community then you became their greatest enemy where were the psn signups worth it to the shareholders and check this man holy crap bro you see the overwhelmingly negative review 248,000 for only 14 percent of the 248,000 user reviews in the last 30 days are positive what you crazy right now you crazy so literally uh, like the video if you're team gamers dislike the video if you're part of the 14 percent right now who's like leave the multi-billion dollar company alone i want to know where you guys at the story doesn't stop here this is by far the biggest like I, I i just don't understand you got xbox out here that is saying stay patient okay stay patient we're gonna have games soon we're gonna have games soon playstation accidentally looks like that they accidentally gets a golden goose and they're like okay well we accidentally it wasn't meant to succeed so therefore we're sorry about our game doing good right y gamers liking it how dare gamers love it apparently check this sony has now removed access to hell divers 2 in every region that cannot make a playstation network account Bombocat. this denies access to every player that bought the game in those regions over the last several months you can also no longer buy the game in a number of currencies tied to those regions and everybody's just flaming it and this is not even the entire list bro you can keep on scrolling though and the list won't stop and uh check this out roll it only 15 percent of the last 236 thousand reviews are positive so they have effectively undone months worth of goodwill and memes in a matter of days Okay, so the CEO's been down in the trenches. Um, uh -oh. Somebody asked, PlayStation Network isn't supported by my country. What do I do? The I CEO of the company responds, I don't know. So this is a person who's saying, even worse, the CEO admitted that he knew for a yeah. long time about this oh and was still God, happy bro. to take money from players who would not be able to play the game after context we're now figuring out the ceo knew that eventually hell divers needed the you know psn link he knew but and the entire team knew but they didn't tell us yeah it, it's crazy it is insane they thought that sony would have a change of heart but sony's like nah bro i need my money i need my playstation network signups man this is crazy holy for a short crap, while man. i appreciate this honesty it's still not less of a scam and a fraud Dang. This is him responding to this. I do have a part to play in terms of taking accountability. I am not blameless in all of this. It was my decision to disable account linking at launch so that players could play the game. I did not ensure players were aware of the requirements and we didn't talk about it enough. We knew about it six months before launch that it would be mandatory for online PlayStation titles. We were asked to six make months? mandatory account linking six months before... Wait, I, I, don't, I don't understand. Uh, Sony informed them six months before a launch to include the account linking Holy as the game was finishing up now with this uh, there's a lot of other stuff get ready for the climax this is just like plot twist number one right so right now with this information who do you blame do you still blame sony do you blame arrowhead do you blame both i personally blame both though i feel like come on now man sony you got a golden goose though right like nobody thought that this game was gonna succeed to this level yeah some people were like hey this looks good this looks good and yeah you were like okay i'm gonna give it a chance you started liking it and that's it right like but nobody really thought that this game was gonna succeed to this level even the devs didn't thought that this would succeed to this level because they didn't even have the capacity in the servers you remember the the servers queue right in the first week the first two weeks of the game being launched and everybody's like oh, i need to jump on i need to jump on and the devs were like uh, uh sorry uh you know you have to uh have this server queue we have to have the server queue because we 
didn't anticipate that many people jumping on, which is a, always a good problem to have. It's one of those things where, you know, you, you are a restaurant, a restaurant owner, your food is so good that there's a line outside and the restaurant is always full and you're like, oh man, uh, there are a lot of customers waiting. We, uh, you know, can you eat fast a little bit? You know what I'm saying? I'll eat a little bit fast. You don't even have to tip us. Just, uh, just eat fast and, uh, you know, come back next time. Come back next time. It's like one of those situations. It's, uh, it's always a good problem to have, but how? Oh. And on launch day, it was mandatory, as detailed in the description in the Steam page. And it was disabled a couple of hours after launch because of server issues, which was my decision. Otherwise, the game would have been unplayable for everyone. We notified the community that we were suspending it temporarily, but we would restate, reinstate it in the future. I appreciate uh -huh. your response. I wish to understand why you accepted money from customers from countries you knew were not able to play your game months down the line. Uh, up to the publishers and stores, PSN restrictions are a PSN issue. I wouldn't know why. You can't money. make an account in different parts of the world. Money. While trying to distance yourself from the issue, I think it's best if you stop responding right now. Without yeah. post it, uh, disabling the mandatory linking hours after launch, everyone who couldn't create a PSN account would have refunded. So in a way, this is 100% his fault, not Sony's. Oh my I God. bet they thought that if they just waited for six months, that Sony wouldn't push it on them because the game was doing really well and they would have more negotiating power. Now, yeah. this insane, absolutely insane. And check this out. We have the homie Yang Yao. Yang Yao. Yang Yao. Okay, let's see. Uh, what a mess. Why, Sony? <laughs> Why? <laughs> So as I'm sure many of you are aware, Helldivers 2 is in the middle Wait of a it. huge controversy surrounding their requirement to link your Steam account to a PlayStation Network account, which at first sounds innocent enough until you consider that this actually is going to block off a lot of people from being able to play this game. For those who didn't know, PlayStation Network is only available in 69 countries. Nice. And sure, you can't nice, pretend nice, like you're nice. from another country, whether by choosing a country that you don't live in when you're making your account or by using a VPN. Yeah. But there is a risk of you getting banned for doing so that would actually violate it's absolutely insane because i know and this is not a dig at anybody like listen at the end of the day you know what hell divers is one of those games that turned out to be really good i didn't buy it because i'm not the target audience and i you if you have been around the channel and you have been subbed for a while you probably kept hearing me say that and I genuinely no disrespect though i'm just not the target audience it didn't hit me in the g spot like it hit a lot of people so i didn't buy but like okay i'm gonna wait it out gonna wait it out it's not for me and I'm still gonna say it's not for me, but I kept hearing good stuff about this game and everybody that played this game, generally speaking, said nothing but good stuff. And guess what? Nobody, I had never even heard anybody hate on this game. It, it was as, it was like, hey, you love the game so much, or you're like, uh, it's not for me, right? And, and how many times do we hear that in the year 2024, in this decade of 2020? You never hear that either the game is all right or it's the worst game of all time. But with this game, it was different. People genuinely loved it. And I, I just don't get it. And P PC Masters is always like, uh, no dig at them, but they're always like, hey man, uh, you know, console gaming is lame. Console. I get that. I get that. On consoles, my point that I'm trying to make here is that everybody's getting pounded right now. Console gamers got an Xbox, PlayStation. Gotta pay all for online, bruh. All of this online. As a gamer, I demand free online. Gamers deserve free online. Okay, like the video if you agree, dislike if you disagree. And now, PC Master Race online is free, but they gotta be like, okay, well, I gotta get me a VPN. I gotta sign up. I gotta make accounts on every single one of the platform. UB Snooze, EA, games not included, right? Uh, Activision, Blizzard, Battle.net, Battle Your Mama, and all that crap. All that crap, bruh. Like, it, it's just insane. So, Gamers from all walks of life are getting pounded. Whether you're a PC gamer, you're a PlayStation, Sony Pony, <laughs> like me, I play on the Sony Pony console. I'm a PlayStation uh, uh, console person. I, I I got a decent enough PC, got RTX 3090, but I still prefer gaming on uh, on console because it's uh, just a lot more convenient for me, right? I, I'm probably one of the the only few. It's just that I don't want to play at 4K. Bruh. I just don't, okay? Because the second I started gaming at 60 FPS. I just couldn't go back to 30 FPS. Gamers are always like, hey, it's fine, you know, 30 FPS is very good. It's very good. I'm sitting here, I'm like, can a brother get 1080, 60 FPS? And I hear PC Master is there's like, no, game's gonna be 4K. Game's gonna be 120 FPS, 240 FPS. Bruh. Right? So if I ever start to game on PC, nah, bruh. Like, then my, my standards would go even high. And uh, apparently, game devs are having a hard time 
make games run at 60 FPS. And if their game, if their game turns out to be 60 FPS, then I mean, God forbids, bro. God forbids, bro. God for forbids that people get to play your game because we simply don't want people playing our game. Like, ew, like, brother, you, brother, you, why? You want to play our games? Get mama, bro. Get mama. The terms of service for PlayStation Network and Sony has the right to just ban your account and that could happen if you decide to kind of partake in this circumvention method. You can already see examples of how this is affected. Oh yeah, I was hearing that if you do a VPN uh, and they catch you with your uh, pants down, they, they can ban you though. People, here's a and, and VPNs are always like, hey, you know what, you want to surf the internet without your pants down, so this is like, hey, uh, you know, this is kind of like a safety, right? Like, use VPNs, well, if they ca catch you with the safety on, you still get bumble club. Player from the Philippines who's a level 90 hell diver who's being told that PlayStation Network is not available in the Philippines, oh so this individual God. will be blocked off from the game, will lose oh access to the God. game because of this new mandate and requirement. And then there's the fact that some PC players just don't want to make a PlayStation Network account because yeah. of security reasons, because of Sony's track record with data breaches, and that's a valid reason for why you may not want to give personal information to a platform. And so the end result is that Helldivers 2's Steam reviews have utterly and completely tanked. Look at the recent reviews right now. Overwhelmingly <laughs> negative, just 16% with over 230,000 recent reviews, and the overall review score right now is at a mix with less than 50% from 5... Yeah, gamers are really upset. That's why it is. 110,000 yeah. reviews. Scrolling down, you can see that over the past few days, the situation has not gotten any better. If anything, it's gotten worse. So right here we have May 3rd, 2024, Holy. where we saw over almost 37,000 negative reviews. Then right here we have over 71,000 reviews the following day on May 4th. And then today, May 5th, it's even yeah. worse. We're looking at 72. over almost 73,000 negative reviews, yeah. and the day isn't even over yet. Now, Damn. player numbers are still holding up. We're still seeing tons of players return to the game. Yeah, that, that's the thing with gamers, right? This is why, if you have been around the channel, this is why you probably heard me say that boycotts just don't work in gaming, right? They work, but they only work if a game is really trash. But at that point, you cannot even give credit to the movement of boycotting right you feel what i'm saying because if the game is good seconds don't care seconds just want to play it right or if the game is decent enough like call of duty call of duty is like the mcdonald's right it's the the worst it's it's bad you know mcdonald's is bad for you but you still keep going back to it not all of you of course it's just like I i'm trying to make a point right call of duty is one of those games it's like the mcdonald's versions of video games right seconds always uh, t talk trash about it but it's still uh, makes the most amount of money. It's always is the number one best selling. Some years it's like second. Uh, I believe Helldivers kind of beat it in a way. But you know what? Sony saw that and it like you know what? Like we don't want to see it beat Call of Duty, right? And, and these things were the same dudes that were crying over Xbox and uh, Xbox getting Activision. I understand that because there is nothing like Call of Duty. So they were making points that Sony was making points that <laughs> if Call of Duty, <laughs> if Call of Duty goes Xbox exclusive, we do not have anything to compete with. You got Helldivers, although Helldivers is not like Call of Duty cannot compete, but at least you have a game though. At least you have a game that is killing it, that's making the monies, that's making the revenue. So what? I'm not the target audience. So what? Uh, other people are not the target audience, but dog, like, y'all ended up getting 458,000 all-time peak with like 106,000 people just playing in the last two hours, 113,000 uh, in the 24 hours. That's Call of Duty numbers because yeah, like on PC, uh, Call of Duty is doing similar numbers, right? That's Call of Duty numbers, that is crazy. Y'all suckers are so incompetent. I, It's just insane. You're killing your golden goose for that. And you crying over Call of Duty uh, going... Uh, I thought it was kind of like understandable, like whether you agree or disagree, like Sony, Pony, Xbox, Andy, we're not talking about that. But you know what? When Sony was making those points, well, well we don't have anything. You got something though. You got something. Which Absolute is why people boundary. are questioning whether Sony will care enough about this backlash or whether they'll just kind of weather this storm until people forget about this issue and then just enforce this mandate and not backtrack on it. And make no mistake, this was Sony's decision. It wasn't Arrowhead who decided to implement this mandate. And so right now, Arrowhead is scrambling, trying to contact Sony and PlayStation to try to get this sorted out. They're trying to get Sony to backtrack on this or at the very least try to get them to address the fact that people who live outside the countries that PSN supports will essentially be screwed <laughs> over, will essentially be blocked from the game. And yeah, 
yes, I know. Yeah, that the, this is them when Sony don't pick up their phone call. This was a requirement that was in place since the game launched, but then they had to drop this requirement because of technical issues that they had during the game's launch. But then the game enjoyed months of not having this mandate and people from all over the world purchasing this game, not knowing that this mandate would return and that, you know, their access to the game would be denied. And this situation has only gotten worse. Sony has not been handling the aftermath of this situation particularly well. For example, something that people notice is that recently Sony changed their own words after the backlash, after oh, people noticed no. that in the frequently asked <gasps> questions section of PlayStation.com, it said, do I have to sign in to PSN to play a PlayStation game on PC? The response they provided was that signing in to PSN is optional when playing a PlayStation game on PC. But looking at what it says now, it reads, some PlayStation games may require you to sign in and link to an account for PSN. This change happened very recently. It just feels like they're reneging on their own word and sneakily trying to make it seem like this is how they've always operated when that was not the case. But perhaps the most egregious development ow, is that ow. Sony has decided to essentially double down Holy. on the fact that people are going to lose access to this game. It's like they have no empathy towards that instead of trying to find a solution. Listen here, game devs. If you're a game dev watching this video, if you're somebody from Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC, I don't care, indie dev, if y'all, or if you want to be, if you're an up and coming dev, you thank you for subscribing. If you're an up and coming dev and you want your game to flop, do this. Yeah, that's my best and honest advice, okay? <laughs> From a toxic gamer. They want to label me and everybody toxic gamers. You sick as crazy? You sick as crazy? What the hell is going on? And as the homie uh, Murahar would say, ladies and gentlemen, 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 I and hate this trend of having multiple accounts and services for every online game I want to play. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, it, it's absolute clownery bro like this is modern day video games you know uh, sony was like okay so there is no problem in hell divers let's make problems let's create problems let's create problems where problems don't need to be or when, when problems don't exist we create problems our name is sony yeah love you love you all sony's man what they've decided to do recently sony, is stop selling hell divers 2 in non-playstation network countries and that's something you can see when you go to website steam db and scroll down through hell divers 2's <laughs> listing you'll find the following change list where you can see a list of countries where purchase for this game is now restricted and as you can oh, see man. it's a lot of countries countries that playstation network does not support after enjoying sales from these countries now that they've made a stupid move of enforcing a mandate that blocks these countries now they're saying well thank you for your patronage get out like it's kind of what it feels like it, it, it feels so ungrateful to those outside of the psn countries who have decided to play and support this game it feels like they basically took advantage of people in these yeah, countries yeah. and now that the mandate has kicked in you know they're no longer of you so they're just kind of being cast out it feels incredibly scummy and just uh, incredibly uh, ungracious instead of backtracking on the thing that's making the game less accessible they have decided to commit to making uh -oh. the game less accessible uh -oh. people are already beginning to see the results of this for example if you go to steam in the philippines the buy button for the game is no longer available as has been pointed out by various users on social media in ukraine no this way. situation is particularly bad because according to this reddit user sony doesn't allow ukraine players to register a psn account without buying a playstation 4 or playstation 5 basically locking them out of playing hell divers 2 even if they are in a psn available country so for ukrainian hell divers 2 players who play the game on pc they're forced to buy a playstation console to adhere to the mandate of linking a PlayStation Network account because they need a PlayStation console to register a PlayStation Network account in the first place. That's that's really messed up. Just the sheer audacity for Sony to mislead people in these countries into believing that they're safe in buying this game and then pulling the rug from under them. Oh my it has God. certainly not gone unnoticed. Yo, honestly, okay, obviously, like, I don't know any legal advice. I'm not trying to provide legal advice. Like, I don't know how this crap kind of works, but... You know, the only thing that I know is that people get sued for literally farting in the wrong direction in United States of America. Bruh. So, doing something like this, I don't know, man. I don't know, like, can these countries actually sue Sony, uh, right? Like, I'm talking about countries, not, like, the people living in these countries. Yeah, that's, like, a different topic altogether. I think if they want to, they kind of can, I guess. Uh, I, I at least expect, like, one lawsuit out of this one, right? How many lawsuits do you guys expect from this one? <laughs> Holy crap, bro. What the hell is going on, dog? Like Sony, yo, uh, Biden, where are you at? Okay, wrong, uh, wrong guy. Uh, Sony, Sony, Jim Ryan, Jim Ryan, where are you at? Okay, Biden, I gotta bring you in, man. What, whatever. Yeah. Where is Biden? Where is Biden? Where is Biden? What Biden is doing, man? Biden needs to do something, man. They, he needs to do something, bro. 
noticed, and it has only made this whole debacle that much more well known. And the optics. I, I think Jim Ryan like peaced out, right? So there's that. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah, Jim Ryan kind of retired. Okay, well. Tough love, I guess. Surrounding Sony and the reception surrounding Helldivers 2 as of late, that much worse. And it's got nothing to do with the quality of the game. People acknowledge and recognize that Helldivers 2 is an awesome game, which is all the more reason for why there's this much backlash, because people are saying everyone around the world should be able to play this game, and things were fine when this mandate wasn't in place for them to add this mandate that makes the game less accessible, that screws certain people over months after launch, months after the game yeah, was in... certain people, more like hundreds and hundreds of thousands, Boom! yeah. Oh enjoying a good life without this mandate it just feels like the dumbest corporate move ever on the part of sony now developers behind the scenes are apparently doing the best they can to try to correspond with sony and get this sorted out here's a community manager from discord who said internal discussions are ongoing about the mandatory linking change and while i can't reveal details the response okay. from our dev teams has been pretty universally negative and we're looking for a better option so the devs don't oh, like the rip. situation any more than the players do and then here we have another update that reads if a better solution isn't provided for players who are in regions without psn coverage i'm assured that we won't be making the requirement mandatory for those players we're not going to force people to either break Yo, I'm I'm pretty sure like uncle phil must be like doing helicopters right he must be like shaking he must be like hey that's an easy win for xbox you feel and, like yeah bro this is crazy holy crap i remember like you know a couple of uh, months ago when uh, and this is not like a sony pony xbox andy thing jokes are fine banter that's basically what we're having but uh, obviously more than the banter this is a fact not an opinion okay phil spencer went on an interview and literally said we cannot compete with sony right we don't have that many games even if you make good games he said that literally whoa i'm paraphrasing not directly quoting him but paraphrasing he literally said that you know what we don't have <laughs> that many games even if we make good games we cannot beat sony tomorrow which i agree with but it's like one of those things you seconds need to make good games so one day because if you keep making good games eventually you know people are gonna transition and get and, and more people will buy xbox though you know xbox has a, a very big brand uh, a lot of awareness it's one of those things uh that uh it has awareness i would say equally as playstation but it's just that more people choose this playstation because of the the name and the games that comes with it right versus xbox right but if xbox decides to have good games people are just gonna transition simple as that and, and sony Easy L, easy L. This is, they fumbled the bag. I've never seen anybody fumble the bag this hard though. So, I, I mean, this is a massive W for Xbox. So Phil Spencer must be doing helicopters with his Willy right now, so. Sony terms of service or not play the game. And then beyond that, this community manager confirms 100% that all this was Sony's doing, stating, quote, that change, the Steam announcement and the FAQ are all coming from Sony and not our team at Arrowhead. So yeah, do yeah. not direct your anger at Arrowhead and the developers, their hands are tied. This is Sony higher ups. But, but they knew about it. They knew about it. They still uh, kept. Uh, they still kind of went in with doing, and so continue to provide feedback. Continue to provide criticism. Continue to be vocal, and continue to make this a story. And uh, you want me to be vocal like this, like this? You mean like this? Maybe Sony will capitulate. You know, there have been plenty of situations in the yeah. past where uh, the community being vocal has led to positive change. So, you know, don't let up on that front and yeah, hope that uh, Sony I listens agree. to reason. I Here's agree. one more I message agree. from this community manager. Players making their displeasure known through reviews, refunds, etc. gives us more pull in the discussions with Sony. This is essentially a low-key way to encourage people to continue dropping negative reviews, issuing refunds, so on and so forth. This is the community manager on behalf of Arrowhead letting the community know, hey, if you're vocal, you know, that gives us more leeway to have more room yeah. for discussion and it gives us more leverage uh, to be able to essentially convince Sony to backtrack on this. So it's good to see that the developers are expressing that they're on the side of the community. I never thought I would ever see this. I, yeah. Guys, I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch this video clip that's going around as well. Yeah, check this out is what I'm trying to say. Check it out and I'll see you right there. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you right there, guys.